What is wrong with this boy? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffing Brit, and today we are playing the wonderful game this is Skyrim. And with all that sorted, I think it's time we jump right on into the game of Skyrim as I show you the wonderful character I've created. That's right, we have created a character so powerful today that there is quite simply no counter to him. I am ready to present to you the Skyrim 100 Statman. This character quite simply won't be defeated. For those of you who don't know who 100 Statman is, then don't don't worry, basically he's a character from our wonderful CK2 videos who is maxed out in every statistic. He is ridiculously powerful and even managed to achieve immortality and became a living god. He then later went to Rimworld and started the Organ Harvesting Co. And now we find him here today in the wonderful world of Skyrim. So today, sit back, relax, grab your cup of tea, I've got mine, you know, it's absolutely wonderful, I'm gonna take a sip now. Oh, damn, that's some good tea. And you know what? I think it's time. We dive right in there. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. So today, we've arrived. We're in Skyrim as the legendary 100 Statman. That's right. This is the look he's going for for Skyrim. I know. It's pretty edgy, it's rather Nordic, but hey, don't you worry. All that you care about is that he's an incredible character who can do some wonderful things. Best warrior in more four, and that's no boast. Hmm, I think you'll find that my one-handed skill is currently somewhere around the one million mark. So, are you? 100 gold, he can take me barehanded. Okay, sounds good. Let's see what I can do then. Okay, I will just uh, use my magical skills here. <laughs> What, you don't, you don't want to face this? You don't want to face this, Benor? Benor, you don't want to face the power of my one punches? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Hello there, are you enjoying watching? Do you want a piece of this next? If we take a look at our skills. They're not too bad, as you can see. Pretty humble little things right now. Yeah, nothing crazy. My health is just at a nice low, low... What's that, 1.1 million? So nothing too crazy. Actually, you know, after defeating that one character, I realised that it's not actually difficult to beat people in this town. They don't seem very powerful, so maybe I'll go visit whoever their king is and maybe see if I can take over this place after all. Basically, I've just sat down and talked to her, and it's all just really boring. Like, there's this whole storyline, there's a wizard somewhere. I said, I don't want to deal with it. Who are you? Oh, you want me to join the war? Join the Imperial Legion? I suppose I could join the Imperials. They look quite fun. we got to stealthily get rid of some people, I'm afraid. So, oh, we could go for the massive Warhammer, or I think we'll go for the sword. Oh, well, there's nothing really I want to do. Instead, let us simply get rid of this character. He was not necessarily needed in the plot, so now he's gone. There's just alcohol everywhere. This is brilliant. Right, close the door. We're taking this. This is just getting great. More coin purses, more mead. <gasps> oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. We are going to take all of the alcohol in Skyrim. Oh, you want me to speak to you instead of the Yarl first? That's fine. I'll deal with the Yarl later then. Oh, look at this, all this wine you had in your room. Seriously? This is the alcohol you spot me getting. This alcohol here. You can see I am in this room by myself, and this is the alcohol you spot me getting. Oh, I see. Of course, yes, you can see through that wall there. It all makes sense now, Skyrim, doesn't it? I should have known that. Of course, it was all clear in the level design. This wall here can be seen through. What if I pay you some gold and you look the other way? Yes, this is a great idea. So instead of paying off my bounty, I can use my speech skill to pay off the guards with zero gold. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Every time I do something evil, the guards just go... Well, I mean, he's offered me zero gold as a bribery, so uh, that's a good deal. Can't pass that one off. Now, if only there's a way to kill all of you without anyone noticing. You know, I've had enough of these Yarls. Maybe we get rid of all the Yarls in Skyrim, because evidently they're hoarding the alcohol. So, if we deal with this guard here, and simply swipe that, and then deal with the Yarl, and deal with you. There we go, that's um, all of you dealt with. And then you're a, you're a guard. And, um, yep, let's get rid of you as well. Last witness killed, 2,000 bounty removed. Lovely. So there we go, we've killed three mortal guards. Hang on a second, little boy. What are you doing in here? Excuse me. Oh, what happened indeed? Going to find whoever did this. Okay, who are you? And you've just come in here, seen all the dead bodies. Me standing here with a sword, which, let's not lie, guys, has quite a lot of blood on it. And you're just going to walk into your bedrooms. Excuse me, you hope monsters come and eat me? Oh, Yorick. Oh. Oh, I don't care. I do not care. You want monsters to come and eat me, Yorick? Oh, you cheeky bugger. You're gone. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yorick. Yorick. Come back here, you turd. What the hell is wrong with this boy? Is there physically no way to kill him? Right, I'm going to have to whip out the greatest weapon of all. We're going for the Warhammer. Come on. Let me... Come on. <laughs> Come on. What is wrong with this boy? Oh, my God. He's immortal. The one person that 100 Statman cannot kill. Never thought we'd find this day. When not even a woodcutter's axe is able to kill a child. Read letter from Gorm. Okay. Well, we've got Gorm's letter, and then we've got read letter from Gorm. Okay, let's take a look at Gorm's letter. 100 Statman, I know you killed him. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. In fact, I wanted to thank you. Gorm, hang on a second. I killed you, though, because I've got your letter from your dead body. Oh, well, Gorm, how do you send me that letter after you died? I'm not going to ask questions. Oh, you know Benor? This guy, he hasn't got a job. He's got no idea what he wants to do. And you know what? He was nice. He actually survived the, remember, the punching that we did. So, we're going to ask him to follow me. Gorm, Benor, it'd be nice to have you with me. Holger, what are you doing? Thank you, Benor. What was that man doing? Anyway, we've got a key to his house. What are you doing? You just saw us kill a man. How are you? Anyway, Jorgen, um, thank you for your time. I'd say all in all, that was a good visit to Morfall. We've killed their Jarl. We've executed a lot of the guards. We encountered an immortal child. We've picked up the companion Benor. For some reason, some people don't like us and other people do. So I guess it only makes sense to move on to Solitude next. Okay, now because my lock picking is at like a thousand, I'm getting the feeling I could just hold W anywhere and it's going to open. Yep. Yep, it will. <laughs> I'm an incredible lockpicking genius. Now I guess we go take a look at this castle, which... Oh, there's a fire on. Maybe there's people in here that want to say hello to 100 Statman. Let's go take a look at them. Oh, no. It is just full of skeletons. Okay. Right. Well, that's exciting. You need to go. I'm sorry, but so do you. You don't need a head anymore. What about you over here, random necromancer? Over here indeed. Good lord. <laughs> Wait, through you. And what about you? You don't need that head either. That head's gone. Would you just revive another necromancer? Oh, that's fine. I can uh, fix that for you. They don't need their head. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> the 100th Statman decapitation is insane today. Benor, how are you doing? Oh, there you are. Good, you're alive. Because the issue is Benor can die. I've modified the game so that even my followers can die. That's right. Benor, please don't. Oh, and I can quite clearly see someone down there. Oh, shoot. There we go. Success. Well done. 100 Statman strikes again. Let's go down. Got an apprentice necromancer. They're dead. Got one there. They're dead. Oh, and uh, someone is... I think they might be reviving this bad boy. Okay. That's fine. Oh, <gasps> shit! That was Benor! Okay. Oh, Benor. <laughs> no, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, no, the friendly fire. Oh, the friendly fire, Benor. Oh, thank you for your service. It was lovely to have you, Benor. You were... You were a lovely guy. I, I didn't get much experience with you, but... I'm sorry I can't give you a proper burial here. I just... You did this. Allow me to pop pick at you. Oh, necromancer robe. Let's take that. Let's take your boots and your iron dagger. Suddenly you're walking around with your fists and nothing has changed apparently. Nothing has changed. Wooden expert door. Don't mind if I open that in one go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our first, I'd say, dungeon complete. I wouldn't necessarily call it a dungeon, but basically we just went in there and killed a load of skeleton conjurers. Seriously, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do this. Are you? Okay. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed being a necromancer. Excuse me, whose head is this? Oh well, don't ask any questions. You know, you don't normally when you play in games have to wonder about whose head is whose and why is it rolling in said direction, but congratulations, you've tuned into the Spiffing Brute where things are just ever so slightly quite different. Oh look, there's a deer trying to run away from me. Or is that a stag? That's a stag! 
Now that is how to hunt animals with speed and precision. Apparently there's some kind of monster attacking people around here and it's headed off. You know what, let's go defeat this monster that's terrorizing the local countryside. Maybe 100 Statman can become a hero. Maybe so indebted they have to like and subscribe. Eh? See what I was doing there? See what I was doing? Don't get me wrong, 100 Statman, he's not exactly a hero. I mean, just look at the guy. He accidentally decapitated the only person who showed him friendship in life, so yeah. Excuse me, are you trying to shoot arrows at me? Excuse me, could you mind not doing that? Stop all of this, come on. All of you, please, I'm giving you an opportunity here. You want to keep freezing me? You want to keep doing that? Do you want to? Right, you're not going to. What about you? Do you want to? No, I don't think you did. How about you behind me? Are you? Do you want to have a try as well? Do you really want to have a try? Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, there we go. We learned what happened to the adventurers and the prisoners. They were all killed and they all lived happily ever after. And I just ended up killing a load of farmer for literally no reason. Oh, Challenger. Very well. This Challenger would like to duel me. Okay, thank you very much. Nice challenge. That was a good challenge. Thank you. And of course, we're back in Skyrim. Don't ask why there's a bunch of dead Falmore around me and a prisoner running off in that direction. They also don't all have heads, but trust me, they don't need heads. Here are their heads. See, they don't need them anymore. Anyway, we freed this prisoner. What have you got against the Imperials? Excuse me, I was considering joining them. Bandit Chief, what do you what do you have, Bandit Chief? Oh god, there's a <laughs> there's an arrow going through my head. <laughs> Good lord. Um <laughs> That one looks like it's gonna hurt, what a hundred Satman. Let's just power on through that one. That's fine. Anyway, in here I've just accepted a mission to clear out a place called like Wolf Skull Cave or somewhere like that. I have no idea. Oh, um, this place does appear to be important. Something evidently is going on in here. What? <laughs> what the hell is all of this? What the hell is going on? Wolf Queen. They're summoning Potema the Wolf Queen. Yes, something is very wrong. There is an intruder. It's a me, Mario. Get yeeted, Dragus. There's an evil monstrous spirit has just been sent off. Looks like right out into the world. Cool, that's no longer my issue and responsibility. Hey, I did my part. It's time for me to leave. That's what being a hero is all about. You turn up, solve the issue, and then you bloody leg it. Oh, there we go. Finally, we can join the Imperial Army. Now I've got to go clear out Fort Haragstad. Great, okay, let's go find this. You. You're the same. You are the exact same person. That is terrifying. Nice that they've got twins operating together. I think that's cute. Bring the family in on it. There's one thing I'm good at, clearing out places with bandits. Hang on a second, are you a bandit? Do 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 do. I accidentally yeeted myself off a cliff there with my wonderful speed attacks. Sorry, yes, I did go past you. There we go. Decapitated. Lovely stuff. That's a fine head you have on your shoulders. <laughs> Oh, and another one. Jesus Christ, 100 stat man. What a machine. Yep, here you are. I thank you for your service, but good night. Well, we have an option here. Do we enter in through the main entrance or do we go in via the prison entrance now? We've got to walk in straight through the main entrance. That's the power play. 5,000 IQ plays. Walk straight into the enemy. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This guy has got no idea. So, we're just going to, you know, Put him down gently. Excuse me. I'm okay. Right, I'll just okay. Okay. Bandit chief. Is someone there? Is someone there? You saw me walk straight past you, bandit. What? Oh, you had that on yourself. You did that to yourself. Okay, that was not me. Here he is the last bandit. Okay. I mean, I'll just take your massive wheel of cheese first. Don't mind me, just gonna borrow some of this. What about this chest? What do you got in here? Log pick, minor healing. Nice stuff. Stab me in the back, are you? Okay. Thank you for your service, Mr. Bandit. There we go, she's very impressed with what we've done. I get to officially join the Legion! Oh my goodness, we finally made it. Right, I'm ready to take that oath. This sounds great. I don't really care about your oath, I just want to slay some people and lords. There we go. Long live the Emperor, blah 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 blah. Anyway, today ladies and gentlemen, I have been the Spiffing Brit, and if you've enjoyed this video then please do give it a like, and most importantly, would you like another Skyrim video? Would you like 100 Statman to return with his rippling arms and his decapitation abilities? So if you want another episode of 100 Statman, then make sure to say the words Ave in the description, or if you would like something else and you have a spicy idea, say the word Nay.
Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and please do consider subscribing. It would be lovely to have all of you here in the community. Anyway, a massive shout out as always to all of my majestic patrons. They are absolutely wonderful sausages. You generally make a huge difference on this channel. And if you want something interesting to watch, then I strongly recommend this video here. If you enjoyed this, then you're going to love that. Anyway, I will see all of you in the next one. Have a lovely evening. Remember, uploads every other day, 6.30pm UK time. Let's have a wonderful evening.